Number 9. My Sister First up is one of the most infamously weird and scary videos ever to have slithered its way onto the internet. The clip defies any sense of explanation and logic. We don't even know who the, and I use this word lightly, star is. It focuses on a woman, presumably the titular sister, for about 60 seconds as she tries on different outfits for the camera. But what could have been an innocent little fashion show is given a sinister edge for two reasons. For starters, there's the oddly upbeat, uh, trip-hop-ish music tinkering away in the background, already unsettling. But even stranger, the woman never blinks. Her smile never drops. It remains stoic, unfaltering, but this is only the beginning of the strangeness that's about to unfold. She rips her face off. Yeah, say goodbye to clips of James Corden talking to celebrities. We're knee-deep in the weird side of YouTube now, son. Of course, it's not her actual face. It's just what we have up until this point thought was her face. Her real face now revealed to camera, she gently fixes her hair as the music continues. We then cut away to the woman eating. Already, it feels like things can't get weirder, but they can. In the closing seconds, she takes hold of the lower half of her face in her hands and starts to peel. Oddly, her face starts to come off. Her real face this time. It's stretching, distorting, but the clip cuts away before we get any answer. Was she wearing a second mask? Is her face just that stretchy? Was there a special effect going on? So many possibilities, so few answers. Number 8. Deeper. A rather infamous YouTube channel called Deeper hosts a plethora of deeply unsettling and strange videos. Posted with regularity, each video is between 20 seconds and 3 minutes in length and has a strangely esoteric name that would suit one of Gwyneth Paltrow's kids. Uh, for example, one of the videos is called Actlassa, another is called Proxior, and a third is called Mortem. These abstract names give no clue to the content held within these weird little enigmas, but it's not the names of the videos you should be focused on. It's the content of the video that'll scare you. Each of these clips is nothing but long, drawn-out footage of various places, interior and exterior, at night, set to creepy music. No sudden jump scares, no ghosts, just footage and sound. But they've developed a real cult following, and with each installment, they've only gotten weirder. Sometimes people are featured in the clips. Sometimes the music is replaced by radio static or strange whispering. But no matter what's featured, no matter what sound design is used, each installment is a mini slice of environmental horror and is deeply disturbing. A few of the videos end with a title card showing cryptic codes. Solving the codes has pointed the puzzle solver in the direction of information about real-life unsolved murder cases. In the 20th episode, you even see a man's feet as he walks around in a pool of blood, all accompanied by the sound, Oh, what a beautiful morning. Nobody knows who's making these or why. Is it just a crazy ARG horror game? Or should we actually be worried about what's going on here? Is an actual serial killer dropping hints about his own activities? Or is this all nothing but a warped game? Number 7. Agamemnon Counterpart Right, we got a hard word coming up. Excuse my horrific approach at saying this, but this clip is called, and here I go, Agamemnon Counterpart. Did I say the word counterpart right? It was uploaded to YouTube way back when the video sharing site was in its infancy, the long, distant past of 2006. I mean, who knows how to explain this one other than absolute masterpiece? This dizzying onslaught of scrappy, experimental animation, staticky sound effects, surreal imagery, and flashing lights is either the greatest work of video art ever constructed or a literal torture device. It looks like a Frankenstein's monster-style construct built from the dodgy parts of Walt Disney's Fantasia, an episode of Adventure Time played backwards, and the video used to torture Alex DeLarge in A Clockwork Orange. No one knows where this came from or really what it is. Either hide from it or bask in its Lynchian splendor. The option's yours. Number 6. Sitting and Smiling Music has David Bowie. Literature has J.R.R. Tolkien. Film has Alfred Hitchcock. Every medium has a lineup of masters. Bold visionaries who take the form and twist it into all new experimental shapes. Cinema changed forever when the remarkably gifted Orson Welles subverted expectations of what a film could be with his seminal touchstone of filmmaking, Citizen Kane. YouTuber Benjamin Bennett did similarly brilliant things for YouTube when he sat in front of a camera and smiled for four hours. Yeah, really. Benjamin Bennett's YouTube series, Sitting and Smiling, is a 300 episode long epic. Each episode is a few seconds over four hours, and each episode consists of Benjamin Bennett sitting in a corner of a room, staring at the camera, and smiling. Hypnotoad style. No frills, no gimmicks, no clickbaits, no keyboard playing cats, just a man sitting in a corner, smiling. Nothing wrong with somebody smiling at you, it's actually quite nice. At first. But the longer a single smile lasts, the creepier it gets. And soon, something that was heartwarming becomes terrifying. A four-second smile? Cute. Endearing. A four-hour one? Absolutely horrifying. This guy's either an Andy Kaufman-style genius or a terrifying monster. With 149,000 subscribers, it seems there are a lot of people out there who enjoy watching, or being watched by, a creepy dude smiling at them for longer than the duration of Return of the King. And if that's what these people like, then fair enough, they got 1,200 hours of it waiting for them on YouTube. Number 5. BlankRoomSoup.avi in this clip, two men wearing big, squishy costumes comfort a crying man as he tries to eat a soup. I'll say that again. 
In this clip, two men wearing big and squishy costumes comfort a crying man as he tries to eat a soup. Uh, it still feels weird. It's not clear why he's crying. Is it because he's being forced to use a ladle instead of a suitable spoon? Is it because the costumed men are just a little bit too creepy for him? Is he being held against his will? Or worst of all, does the soup just taste like garbage? Number four. I feel fantastic. If you're one of those guitar-loving musos who gets angry about auto-tune singing, brace yourself. In this clip, an android dressed in human clothes and topped with a wig sings for a bit and then there's a random shot of a garden. Hashtag art. Uh, no, but for real, what even is this? This video, uploaded to YouTube in 2009, doesn't belong to the original uploader. He just made it available on the site YouTube. This strange little number actually dates way, way back to the earliest days of the internet. Nobody quite knows where it comes from, and it's probably best we don't. In an awful, monotone voice, this odd thing, looking like 3PO and drag as a middle-class mother, sings, I feel fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. You feel fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. You are fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. Please leave. Run, run, run. Round and round, on a loop, with little appreciation for musical standards. And then there's a shot of a garden. Some corners of the internet are nothing but a Lynchian wasteland of Dadaism insanity, and we love it, even if it scares us. Number 3. 13. This one isn't scary in and of itself, but the story around it is deeply unsettling. On May 24th, 2015, the following clip was uploaded to YouTube. This video, uploaded by an account called Lisa Holm, is just an 11 second clip showing an ominous countdown. So, what makes this weird? Well, what makes it weird is that the clip is named 13, and exactly 13 days later, a woman called Lisa Holm went missing. Almost as if the video was counting down to her disappearance. The account had never uploaded before, and hasn't uploaded since. Was it really set up by Miss Holm counting down to her running away? Or was she kidnapped? And was the account named after her by the man who planned to hurt her? The more you think about this one, the more it eats away at you. The more it unsettles you. Number 2. Web Driver Torso just like sitting and smiling, this isn't just a weird video, this is a weird series of videos. A whole franchise of installments. Some of the videos are a mere 10 seconds, others are around about 25 minutes. You can watch any one of these many strange videos and be equally confused. Who knows which clip my editors have chosen? It could be any and you'd be equally weirded out. So, what's so odd? On a semi-regular basis, sometimes even once a day for long stretches of time, one of these videos gets uploaded. Each one of these odd little videos just shows red and blue squares moving around to the sound of strangely pitchy music. So, what's happening here? Abstract nonsense or secret code? Mindless nothingness or a deeper meaning? Number 1. Max Headroom This is about as retro as weird internet clips get because this one predates easy access to the internet entirely. Something known as the Max Headroom incident happened on terrestrial TV on November 22, 1987. Let's talk about it. For those of you under 900 years old, way back in the day, you couldn't watch whatever you wanted. You couldn't pause TV. Certain things were on TV at certain times, and if you wanted to watch them, you had to bend to the TV's whims, and the TV would not bend to yours. So the idea of what was supposed to be on the TV suddenly and randomly changing was unprecedented. But that's what happened to Chicago's TV channel, WGN9. The live broadcast was hacked twice. Once during an episode of cult British sci-fi classic Doctor Who, and once during a football game. Twelve years ago, the hack during the Doctor Who episode found its way to YouTube so it could be preserved in the annals of weird video history. As you can see, partway through the episode, the footage crackles out to be replaced by something significantly weird. And seeing as it was already an episode of Doctor Who, that's saying something. An unknown individual appears on screen, his real face obscured by a mask of cult sci-fi character, Max Headroom. He continues to scream garbled nonsense, including, my brother's wearing the other glove. Why did he do this? Was he a troll before trolls existed? And who exactly was the man beneath the mask?